So I recently had the opportunity to try out this. Hold up. I want to show something before we jump into this video and get deep into these comparisons. Yeah, I couldn't wait for the editing of this video, so I wanted to play musical cameras because one of them turned out to be so awesome. I went ahead and threw it into my main camera that looks out on my front yard. Wow. If this is stock settings, no, I didn't add an additional light because my automations run my lighting and everything. So it's pretty much the same, except just swapping the camera. That's damn impressive. Hitosino or Hitosino or I don't know. These are like a little Hikvision rebrand that came with an NVR and four of these cameras. And yeah, you probably look at the little thing going, yeah, it looks like crap. Well, they did look like crap because, but they had the little LED on the front of it. And that was, you know, supposedly for their night color vision. Well, they weren't that great. And then the light would run all the time. I thought maybe it would run when there was motion. And yeah, they're just, yeah, it was kind of crap. The NVR was okay, given it was a Hikvision NVR. But I throw that one out the way. I wanted to dig into some more cameras with LEDs. And that led me to, yeah, and I checked out these two by, these are Daiwa rebrands by Empire Tech. If you've been around some of the different forums and stuff, you've seen Empire Tech around. He has some great support and stuff for the various cameras. And I've really liked them. I've used them for like the little LPR reader camera, etc. Now these are very similar and this one is, I really like the look of this. The black cameras are just, I don't know, they're downright gorgeous to me. Definitely fit in the home and I have a dark gray trim on my soffits and whatnot. So I really like the look of these black cameras. Now the one cool part I love about these as well, as you can see right here, is that set screw. Yeah, they stay put, because when you go out there and you gotta tweak them and everything, and they're really windy and stuff gets pushed around, well, that's not really something I enjoy. So I wanna definitely keep these things. And yeah, if you're trying to, you know, dust the spider webs off of them and everything, and you're doing whatever. You may jostle them around, or if you're trying to clean the lenses, or you want them to stay put. You don't want to sit there and try to reposition your cameras. So there is one that's not going to be Daiwa Amcrest or whatever. It's the Anki, I think NC800, or I don't know. I'll probably put the the display up there. Which one this is? Now it's a white camera. It does have the LEDs on the front as well. So I'm curious to see how the night vision does and all the different modes and everything with the different LEDs. Some of them have different color LEDs. Like this is one of the newer Amcrest ones. And it has, you can see here, there's two different color LEDs. I believe that's one of the warm white and then the infrared. So maybe the best of both worlds there. Now the cool part about the Amcrest Daiwa stuff is you can control all the LEDs using the API and that's fully local. So that's kind of the big thing about all this. All these are gonna be power over ethernet, fully local. You do not have to expose them to the internet or anything like that, which is a beautiful thing. Now, we're gonna bring back one of the favorites, and they actually do have a black one like this as well, and I just don't have it, but it's that tried and true Amcrest 5 megapixel camera that really works freaking awesome with that starlight sensor, and you know it's only five megapixels, so there's not a lot of megapixels to feed light to it, so it does a really great job of bringing in all that light and doing that night vision, you know, even in that color night vision if you want to do, if you have enough light as well. And it's for a freaking killer price. And yeah, it's still, even after all the supply chain issues and everything, you can get this one for, I think, around $50, I believe. And we've seen it kind of go around, but it's a really a great deal. Now, all of these, we'll leave all the links and everything to the different ones. Of course, they're going to be potentially, depending on where they're at, affiliate links. And the way those do work, there's no additional cost to you, but it does help out the channel. So let's jump into all the various testing of these guys and everything. And yeah, I'm going to throw them on my larger build, the big 
board that I use to slide in and test all the various cameras. Got my little PoE splitter there. It's only four ports. So what I'm gonna do, since these are so similar, I'm gonna drop out this one right here and just keep these four right here to run through the various tests and get it done. So I might drive some of you crazy by not showing you what the best camera is because there's not really a best, it's all subjective. I mean, if we just could get the best camera, we'd spend like $1,000 per camera and call it a day. We wouldn't need these stupid videos, right? But no, we can't all do that. Some may, might need those $50 cameras in some spots and they work well. You might need a $200 camera and it really works well there as well because they're both the best for the situation. Now, what I like to do in some of my videos is show you which ones not to get, which point out something that does suck or whatever, just something to avoid and that way you can pick out the one that fits your situation.
So if you had a keen eye in the beginning of the video, you could see that I did choose the Empire Tech 4K turret. It's the color X or whatever. I know they got some crazy models, but that's the one I use for my front yard. I mean, it's one of my major cameras. It covers the front door of the house, looks down the road, etc. Have some shadows. It's been a great camera, especially in the night vision, but also during the day, it's got some pretty good picture as well. Now, that's not to say the other cameras are crap, but just because this camera's price point, I've actually seen this camera down for sale sometimes in some of the Empire Tech spring sales of down to like 200 at times, but it's a pretty damn good camera at the price point it is, and I love the freaking look of it, especially on these gray eaves. So I appreciate you watching all this, and if you got some other cameras you would like to see and doing some comparisons, definitely let me know down below, and we'll see if we can get those models and check those out as well. So thanks to all the YouTube subscribers, Patreon members, definitely couldn't do it without you because all of that really goes towards buying all the various cameras to check out and compare it and get it done for you. So y'all know the drill, press all them buttons down there and y'all take care. I get too trusted. Oh. You okay? Yeah. Uh -huh.